Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster, and welcome to lesson nine, our very last lesson of Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, this lesson covers everything else that didn't really fit into any of the other lessons. Uh, there's a ton of stuff to get into, kind of jump around, go all over the place. Um, and thank you guys for uh, watching uh, all the way up to lesson nine. If you haven't watched all the way up to lesson nine, maybe restart back at the beginning. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of this video about uh, maybe what to do next if you've watched all of these videos. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, this shortcut, uh, again, doesn't really fit anywhere. So uh, we're going to throw it in uh, right now. So uh, we have, uh, we're Peyton, kind of in the middle of something. All right. Sorry about the dog. All right. So we're here in our timeline. Um, our source or our record monitor is active and we can tell because uh, we see that it's white here. Um, and if it's inactive, it would be gray. So when we hit the escape key, it's going to toggle between the source side and the record side. So right now I hit the escape key, so I'm on the source side. So when I hit play um, or set an endpoint, I'm going to affect just the source side. Uh, alternatively, uh, if I hit the escape key now, I'm not touching the mouse or anything. Um, it's just the same shot that's actually in the timeline. If Thank you, music. Now that I'm playing, um, you can see uh, I was able to switch to working in the timeline without touching the mouse at all. So I can set an endpoint here, um, go back to my record monitor or source monitor, sorry, uh, go forward a little bit, hit an out point, and then uh, hit my B key to paste in the edit. Um, and I did that all without uh, touching the mouse. So uh, one of these super useful shortcuts hit the escape key to toggle between the source and the record mode. And um, just to kind of pair with that, uh, if you hit this key down here, I think we covered it in a different lesson. Um, that's going to show your different timelines between your source and the record side. Okay, uh, let's get going because there's a ton of stuff to get into. So um, if I, uh, let's just make an endpoint here. Um, if you hit the command, uh, command if you're on a Mac, control if you're on a PC, and the Z key, uh, that's going to undo whatever you just did. So I can make an endpoint, make an out point, hit command Z, that's gonna remove the out point, hit command Z again, command or control Z, and that's going to remove the endpoint. And I think, I wanna say it goes back either 30 or 99 undos. Don't quote me on that, but it goes back pretty far. So you can kind of mess up quite a bit um, and then go back, 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 back. Um, but uh, so for example, um, I made an in and out point, hit command Z to undo it. Let's say I want to redo that, uh, actually put that back into place. Uh, the next shortcut, hold down command or control, hit the R key, and that's going to undo the undo. It's going to redo. So uh, one more time, command or control Z, that undoes something, command or control, and the R key, that redoes something, redo. Okay, uh, next, uh, the find tool, uh, if you hold down command or control and the F key, that's going to open up this find tool for you. Um, here you can search for different clips and whatnot, uh, similar to uh, like doing the custom SIF, that's what I like to do um, in the bins. Uh, go here, click the fast menu, then go to custom SIF. That's how I like to work, but some people like uh, using the find tool, command or control F, uh, that gets you to the find tool. Okay, full screen playback. Um, I'm pretty sure this only works on a one monitor system. It may work on a two monitor system. I'm not positive. Uh, but if you hold down Command or Control, the Shift key and the F key, that's going to jump you full screen uh, to viewing what's in your um, record monitor or if you hit the escape key, you can see your source monitor. Um, and you can play back and everything from here. Uh, and to get out of this, hold down the uh, same keys, Command or Control, Shift, and the F key, and that gets you out of it. Okay, uh, title tool. Uh, if you don't use a title tool in Media Composer, maybe uh, skip forward about two minutes, uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, uh, if the player is activated, hit the uh, L key uh, to skip you forward 10 seconds at a time. If you didn't know that shortcut, uh, that's a new one for you. That's only in YouTube. Uh, hit that L key to skip forward 10 seconds. Okay, um, two minutes or so on the title tool. Uh, let's go up to tools, open up the title tool application. And I'm uh, just going to, uh, let's make some text. All right, doesn't matter what I type. All right, where am I starting? 
um, to center your text horizontally across the screen, hold down Command or Control, the Shift key, and the C key. That's going to center it from the center of the uh, bounding box area. To align it to the bottom of the frame, hold down Command and Control, the Shift key, and the Z key, and that's going to align it to the bottom of the frame, like the, the bottom like one third of, uh, of the frame. Um, mm, okay, and for the next one, let's draw a box. And okay, this is really bad lower third. Um, but let's say um, I want to move this box behind that text I just had. So I hold down the Command or Control key, the Shift key, and the K key, and that sends an object backwards. Uh, and if I want to move an object forwards, hold down Command and Control, the Shift key, and the L key, that's going to move it forward. So uh, that that uh, text is still behind it. Uh, so one more time, Command and Control, Shift, K key, that sends something backwards. Command and Control, Shift, L key, that moves something forwards. All right, let's get rid of that. Just hitting the backspace key, delete key. Um, next. Um, if I want to switch between my selection tool and my text tool, uh, instead of double clicking here, um, let's say I want to get out of that. Um, if I click here, that's going to create a new text box. I don't want that. Um, so what you need to do is click this selection tool, but there's a shortcut. Uh, if we're in our text tool, if I hold down the option or alt key uh, and click out of it, that switches me automatically to my selection tool. Or um, if I hold down option or alt and click, that goes right back into the text tool. Um, that one actually took me quite a number of years before I learned that one. Uh, okay, uh, if I want to bold my text, uh, it's actually already bolded, I think. Hold down uh, Command and Control, Shift, and the B key. That's going to bold it or unbold it. Um, if I hold down Command and Control, the Shift key and the I key, that's going to italicize it uh, or unitalicize it. Um, and if I want to add uh, a drop shadow, uh, as you probably know, if you work in Title Tool, you can click this guy to give yourself a drop shadow. Let's move it up here so we can see it a little better. But if we want to soften that drop shadow so it's not so harsh, hold down the Command and Control, the Shift key, and the H key, and that's going to bring up this uh, soft shadow dialog box. Uh, and I can click OK and see it softens it out. Uh, and if I do that again, Command and Control, Shift, and the H key, and uh, give it a larger number, let's say like 15 click OK, uh, it diffuses it even more. So the larger the number, the more diffused it is. Um, and our last uh, title, tool shortcut, title tool shortcut, hold down Command Control, the Shift key, and the S key, and that's uh, going to pop open our uh, Save Title dialog, dialog box. Uh, let's cancel out of that. Close this guy. OK, um, welcome back if you skip through that. And let's we're jumping into multicam. Uh, and I know we covered multicam a little bit in one of the previous lessons, but uh, this one I'm going to show you a little bit more. Uh, so uh, over here in our timeline, I'm just zoom in a little bit, uh, we have uh, this uh, clip uh, up here that I, I uh, just uh, put together. Uh, they have no rhyme or reason being together, but I needed a grouped clip uh, for our multicam um, scene that we're about to do. So to enter multicam mode, hold down Command or Control, the Shift key and the M key, and that's going to open up our multicam mode. We can see it here on our source side. And uh, when we're working in multicam mode, uh, we can just, I'm gonna mute these tracks in case there is something on there. Um, while we're playing, um, we can uh, switch the different cameras that are, um, that are being played. So right now we're looking at camera one, that's uh, on the source side, uh, as you can see, that's what's being played on the record side. But let's rewind a little bit. Um, and if I hit the F10 key, that's going to change it to what's being played on F10. Uh, and if I hit the F11 key, and if you're on a Mac, uh, Mac only, uh, you may need to hold down the Control key and hit the F, uh, F11 key. Um, and that's going to activate our... Um, camera three. Uh, so it's a little little confusing you haven't worked on multicam before. Uh, if you hit uh, F, if we're, we have our grouped clip in the timeline uh, and we hit our F9 key, that's going to activate our uh, camera one. If we hit uh, F10, 
that's going to activate our camera two. If we hit F11, uh, and if you're on a Mac, you may need to hold down the control key, that's going to activate our uh, camera three from our multicam group. And uh, going on um, from that, if you have uh, up to eight cameras, there are keyboard shortcuts for that. Camera four is F12, camera five is Shift F9, camera six, Shift F10, camera seven, Shift F11, camera eight, is shift F12. Hope I said those correctly. Um, and if I didn't, um, this is all like listed uh, on the uh, blog post for um, this lesson. Okay, uh, enough multicam. Uh, hold down Command Control, Shift, and the M key. Jump us out of multicam. And let's go back. Okay, so a uh, smart tool. Uh, that's this guy over here. That's these um, the, these tools over here. Uh, to activate our smart tool or deactivate, you can hold down the shift key and hit the tab key and that's going to activate um, our smart tools or shift tab deactivate them. Uh, to activate our red arrow, uh, we're going to hold down shift and the A key. And uh, I actually use this key quite a bit. Um, I don't use the yellow arrow, which I'll get into in a second. So this red key, also known as uh, the lift overwrite uh, segment mode uh, key for the smart tool, um, we can click on a clip and basically drag it anywhere we want. Um, and that's what the red arrow does. And I absolutely love that. Um, and I think if you're new to MIDI Composer, and uh, you're, you you want to move a clip like, like you would in, let's say, in Premiere, and you're just like clicking it, and you're like, hey, why won't this move? All you have to do, uh, hit Shift A, activate the red arrow, and then you can click it and move it. Um, I tend to work with my smart tools off all of the time, um, just because that's kind of the way I, I kind of grew up editing without the smart tool or anything. Um, so I like to be able to click in here and drag my uh, time position indicator around. Um, that's actually something that kind of frustrates me when I'm over in Premiere, is that uh, I have to be careful to like click up here to, to move my time position indicator around. Okay, moving on. Um, if we want to activate the yellow arrow, which is the uh, splice in extract arrow, uh, hold down shift and S, that's going to activate that. And basically it kind of acts as like, um, it kind of like replaces uh, where it was. I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, so just watch as an example, I'm gonna take uh, this clip, move it in front of the other one. And when, when I let go, it basically like swaps them or, or, or like swaps a, kind of swaps uh, the, the time where they're at. And I'm sorry, I can't really explain this one better. I hardly ever use the shortcut. Uh, if you have a good explanation for it, uh, please uh, leave it down below. And by hardly ever, like I don't use this one, uh, the yellow arrow. So uh, hit, hit a shift S to deactivate it. Uh, and let's activate our uh, red rollers, the overwrite trim. Uh, and to do that, hold down the shift key and hit D. And that activates our uh, red rollers. And uh, for the red rollers, um, it basically works like non-destructively. Um, and we can kind of just like the purple rollers, um, but just on one side. Um, so there we go. Uh, for the yellow rollers, let's actually put two clips next to each other uh, over here. Okay, and uh, activate our yellow roller by hitting shift and the F key. Um, and when we do that, that pushes uh, things down the timeline. Uh, covered this much more in the lesson previously uh, when we talked about trim mode and trimming and all those shortcuts. Um, okay, uh, there are a handful of other shortcuts, maybe like five or six at most, um, that I'm not covering in here, uh, just cause kind of like that uh, yellow arrow. I never use them and I don't really have a good explanation. So if you've never visited the editvideofaster.com website, now actually might be a good time if you wanna check out those last couple ones. Um, the link is below in the description or you can go to editvideofaster.com, find Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts in the menu, go down to lesson nine and uh, that's uh, the lesson for this lesson, the blog post for this lesson. Man, sorry guys, it's been a long, 
day and uh, it's been a long time since I started this journey uh, for mastering Avid MIDI Composer's keyboard shortcuts and uh, finally reached it to the very last lesson. Uh, there's one more video in this series coming out uh, very soon uh, if it's not out already when you're watching this, uh, kind of wrapping everything up, giving you some next steps uh, if you want to take your uh, MIDI Composer keyboard shortcut knowledge to the next level, uh, testing your abilities. So be on the lookout for that one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from this video, I really appreciate a, a thumbs up uh, in uh, all over on YouTube. All right, guys, that's it. I'm stumbling my words. Uh, so that's it for me. I will see you next time. Bye.